The series of maps you're about to see, provided by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, will show how the percentage of obese adults has risen in each state over a 25-year period. Obesity is a research interest of Carrie McCurdy, an assistant professor in human physiology in the College of Arts and Sciences at the University of Oregon. Working at the cellular level, she studies how fat and sugar are broken down and the influence of obesity on this process. Her work is becoming increasingly important as obesity rates in America continue to surge. In 1985, between 10 and 14 percent of adults in the darker blue states were obese, and those states that are shown in the lighter blue color had fewer than 10 percent of adults who were obese. There was no data available for states shown in white. As the years progress and more state-by-state -state data becomes available, the percentage of obese adults continues on a steady climb. By 1991, the CDC was forced to introduce a new color to capture even higher obesity rates. This darker blue represents states where between 15 and 19 percent of adults are obese. Watch as this color quickly spreads across the country. By 1997, the CDC was again forced to add another color. Beige states are those in which 20 to 24 percent of adults are obese. Year after year, obesity rates continued to rise across the country. By 2001, a fifth color joined the map, orange, representing states where 25 to 29 percent of adults are obese. In 2005, the CDC introduced yet another color. In the Burgundy states, 30% or more of adults are obese. Obesity rates continued on a steady climb throughout the country through 2010. By then, at least 20% of adults in every state of the union were obese. Oregon fared even worse. By 2010, more than one in four adults in Oregon was obese.